they asked me to come up here and say a few words about Jason. Uh-oh. And I said I wasn't one of a you know, public speaker, but... It's like an essay. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. So they said, well, Jason won't answer you back. He won't interrupt you. And I was like, I'm, I'm in. I'll do it. So you probably think I'm going to embarrass you right now. Okay? Quite honestly, ladies and gentlemen, I think he's got more on me than I have on him. happened to me. Alright? A lot of thoughts went through my head. Is I going to be a good father? What life had for you? What life you would live? Looking at you today, yeah, we did pretty good. Thank you to a family that had a huge impact in Jason's life. And that's the Sexton family. Some back, please. <laughs> From the bottom of my heart, guys, thank you very much. I love you. I also want to thank Jessica's parents and grandparents for raising such a beautiful woman. planning such a beautiful wedding. Thank you guys. I really do appreciate it. Jason, they always prayed that you would find somebody special. When I first met Jessica, I knew my answers, my prayers were answered. I couldn't have picked a more beautiful woman to call my daughter-in-law. Welcome to the family. Jason, as you open a new chapter in your life, I want to give you some advice. <laughs> Number one, remember these two words. Yes, yes dear. <laughs> Number two, Jason, remember this one, okay? Yep. You are the king of your castle. You are the man of the house. Whatever you say goes right out the window. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please raise your glass. And toast the bride and groom. May your love grow stronger each and every day of your lives. And may God bless you.